Now, I was in third grade in Queensbury Elementary School, and we lived up in Queensbury near where the Northway is. And you can imagine how excited I was when my mother told me that my father was going to a convention in New York City and that they had decided to take me with them. Glens Falls was the biggest city I'd ever been in. So to put it in perspective, <laughs> going downtown and going to a department store meant going to Fowler's, yeah. which is where Amy's <laughs> is right now. Um, and you know, basically going shopping was in the blocks that we're here uh, in, in right now. So um, it was an October weekend uh, that we left and um, I got to go uh, get out of school because it was a Monday that we were going to be coming back, Monday and a Tuesday, I think. So we get down there and, of course, my father goes to the convention and he's, he's gone all day. So the first day, my mother went over to the NBC studios and we got tickets for two game shows so we could sit in the audience. One was Do Re Mi and the other was Treasure Hunt. And these were tickets for the next day. So we went shopping that day, and I remember going to Macy's. And of course, if you've ever been to Macy's in New York City, it is huge. I mean, it's just a gigantic store. So she made sure I was with her at every moment because it was so big, and she was afraid I might get lost. And she shopped for a lot of her things, but of course, the big deal was I was going to get to go to the toy section with her and buy something. And I'd saved up my allowance. And so, um, and I was into magic tricks in those days. So we went and they had this little section where this guy was actually doing magic tricks and you could buy them and he would explain how you would, you know, do the trick. So I got that, went home, that was a very exciting day. Next morning we go to NBC Studios and we're filing in into the audience for Do Re Mi. I don't know if you remember that, but it was a musical program, um, game show kind of thing. And we were right down on the front row. And there was this kind of weird lady sitting next to me. Now, remember, I'm kind of shy and a little kid. And I looked over to my mom and said, I don't want to sit next to her. And um, so my mother was starting to ask if we could move to another part back in the back. And the woman said, oh, don't, don't move. These are really, really good seats. You don't want to leave these seats. Well, I insisted. So <laughs> we ended up in the back. And halfway into the show, it turns out she's a major plant. And of course, not only was she on national television, but everybody like five around her oh. was on national television. So I missed my debut. <laughs> so later that afternoon, we went to Treasure Hunt. And um, I happened to be wearing a very bright red corduroy shirt. And remember, school's in session, so I'm the only kid in the audience, because everybody else is in school. So we're sort of halfway up the, the uh, seats, and um, the show was getting ready. And remember, TV's all live in that, in that era. So they did a thing called a kinescope. It's not really like a video cassette, but they didn't do cuts and edits and that kind of stuff. Everything, whatever happened, is, is the way it went down. So all of a sudden, some older guy touches my shoulder from behind, and he says, would you like to be on TV? And I'm looking at my mother, like, who is this guy? And my mother's a little nervous, too. It's like, okay, what's this guy? He says, I'm Jan Murray's father. Jan Murray was the host. And we would like your son to pick the postcard out of the game barrel for the home sweepstakes thing that they did every, every show. So my mom asked me, and I said, sure, so I'll do this. So we get down there, and... Jan, after a little break, comes back to the side of the stage where I'm standing. And Heinz was the, the sponsor for this show. So he was doing a walking commercial. And he puts his arm around me and walks me down over to the barrel. And he's talking about Heinz products. And he's got a big Heinz dill pickle. And he's talking about how great Heinz dill pickles are. And he says, I bet you just love dill pickles. He kind of goes like that. I push his arm away and say, ugh, I hate pickles. Well, the audience goes nuts. They're just laughing their butts off because they realize, you know, he's just a kid telling the truth. He doesn't like pickles. So when they stopped the cameras, they took me back to the side of the stage. He sat me up on this little table. He said, now, when that little red light goes on over my shoulder, you say to me, Jan, I have something to tell you. 
and I'm going to say, what? And you say, I was only kidding. I love everything Heinz makes. <laughs> so I do this, and then, of course, the audience really goes crazy because they realize not only do I hate pickles, but I just lied. <laughs> but I'm a kid. So after that was over, they gave me all sorts of you know, home game and all sorts of little prizes. And that's the story of my TV debut. <laughs> Two weeks later, I got to get out of school again to go home and watch it on TV. And of course, this was a national televised uh, program. So that's the story of my TV show.